almost fallen to places in Singapore. She was bleeding out, dying. That is terrifying. What did I tell you then? Thank you for tuning in to Amy's Crypt. Today I'm going to take you to investigate one of the most haunted places in Singapore. This one is pretty unsuspecting but it was where a very vicious murder took place about 30 years ago and it remains unsolved to this day. So we're at the Amber Beacon Tower. And this is one of the most haunted places in Singapore. This is where a tragic murder happened. It remains unsolved to this day. And I'll go over that shortly, but I do want to walk up it and just suss out the place and figure exactly what it is. So, so far it's actually pretty nice. It's been a while since we've been to the beach. And this one is a much nicer one well, at least in the last one you guys seen on my channel, Duma Speech, right? But it is small. There's a lot of ships out there. I can't believe Singapore. It's a crazy little hub. All right, so we're at the top or at least the top of the stairs as far as we can reach on this place. It's kind of a good view. I guess you could scale that if you had access in here. All right, so you guys are probably wondering, Amy, why are you at this beach? Why are you at this weird little tower? There's not much to see here. It doesn't seem creepy. And you're right, this isn't your typical haunted location, but this is the site where a very terrible murder happened back in 1990. Basically what happened was a couple came here. They'd only been dating for two days. On one of their first dates, uh, they were walking around this area, stopped off at the Beacon Tower just to sit on the stairs and talk. As I was sitting there talking, two men wearing masks came at them from behind and there was an attack there was an altercation the male of the couple was stabbed once in the back he didn't even realize that person reacted and fought off the man that was attacking him throwing him over the railing of the stairs the female ran for her life but didn't get too far she was stabbed in the neck and by the time her boyfriend who managed to fight off his assailant got down to the bottom she was bleeding out dying he ran for help made it to a nearby cafe told everyone where she was here at the beacon so that they could call for help before collapsing and falling unconscious over a table. He had lost so much blood. A couple of days later, he found out that his girlfriend didn't make it. She actually died. Now many people believe that this area is one of the most haunted in Singapore. And it is that female that was murdered here, believed to still haunt it. A lot of people have claimed to see a white lady standing at the top of the stairs here on, on this area of the beacon. There's also a lot of screams and cries of pain and terror that are often heard here. I know that this place has been investigated before. People have picked up EVPs and other strange phenomena. So we're definitely going to be hanging around until a bit later tonight and see if we can reach out to this poor woman and make contact. Um, I wonder if she's still here. Alright guys, so I've just walked down from the top to the middle platform and from the description of the attack and the murder that I read here, this was where the couple was initially attacked. The two men who were wearing masks, so they've never had their faces seen by anyone, came from the top, so they came down these stairs. And from what I read, I picture them sitting here. So I guess as the struggle happened, the man was able to fight off his attacker and kind of threw him over the edge here, which is kind of a big drop if you were pushed over that. The uh, lady who was tragically murdered must have ran down the staircase. And 
either been stabbed here or along this way. Uh, when her boyfriend had fought off his attacker, he came down and found her with the wound bleeding. I guess this is where he left her when he went to find help and I guess where she died. So it's very, very sad to think about. It's still unsolved. They have no idea who attacks them or why. So it's still a mystery to this day. is a big bloody moon and I think that means it's time to start investigating. Alright guys we've lost light now we're back on the beach and it's actually really really nice out here I can totally understand why someone would be brought to this area for a first date it's like now there's fireworks going off down here as well. The beach is so nice and then you've got all these ships with all their lights on down here we can see a cruise ship all lit up and yeah just all of these fireworks are getting let off down there now. I don't know if there's an event on or it's just like, hey, it's Friday night. <laughs> but it's very nice and it makes, makes me kind of sad that they came here for a date and it ended the way that it did. All right guys, it's much later now and it's dark. So we're going to head to the top of Amber Beacon Tower and try and reach out on our spirit box. So I always tell you guys that I'm more scared of the living than I am of the dead. And that certainly is the case when I think about the story behind this place. I feel like, just imagine sitting here and all of a sudden two men wearing masks, you can't see their face at all, come down and attack you and stab you. That is terrifying. All right guys, now that we're at the top of the tower, I'm going to conduct a spirit box. This is my best investigation uh, tool to use here because it is quite noisy. There's the occasional people going by um, and there is a lot of background noise from the ocean. I'm going to try to reach out to Kelly Tan Ah Hong and that was the woman who was actually murdered in this area. I believe that she spoke English as well, so I will be reaching out in English. Plus that's a very prevalent, widely spoken language here in Singapore. So I'm hoping that we are able to get some responses for you. Listen very carefully and let me know if you hear any uh, words or phrases, any voices at all that um, may be coming through this device. All right, so this is a spirit box at the Amber Beacon Tower here in Singapore. Hi, my name is Amy. I've come here hoping to talk to Kelly. Kelly, if you're here, I don't mean you any harm. Go ahead, Kelly, then. I heard something, but I can't make it out. Kelly, was that you? Can you say hello? terrible happened to you here and I understand if you don't want to talk about that but I would like to help you if you are here why is it that you're still here Kelly Are you stuck here? Do you choose to be here? Are you scared to leave? Why were you at the tower? Did you 
you hear that? Can make it out. Do you know who the people were that did this to you? So if you guys can hear screaming in the background, it's not paranormal though that has been something that people have experienced here. There's just a bunch of kids running in and out of the water down there so we're going to wait until they leave to resume uh, this session. Now I don't know what's going on over there, someone's singing. So we're still just waiting for people to leave because they're so noisy, we hope they go away. I'm just gonna check. Cause I didn't actually check before, like, I don't know if this is open or not. No, it's not. Blah, blah. Read the front eyes never before. Put the latch down. Do not, not open. open. Oh. There's still a lot of noise around in that. I'm going to keep just going, rolling with the spirit box. We did get a few voices come through. Difficult to hear, um, definitely female, but um, let's just see how we go again. Kelly, are you able to come close and say something to me so that I know that you're on this beacon tower with me? Can you tell me the name of the man that you were with? Uh, I read that you were studying. What was it that you were studying? I'm not here to hurt you. Do you remember what happened here? Do you know why you are here at the tower? I'm going to turn this device off now, Kelly, unless you say something. I'm going to have to go. Thank you, goodbye. So I feel like that time around we didn't get a whole lot of anything. The first time there was definitely some things that came through, I, not legible that I could make out, mm. but it'll be interesting to watch that back in a, a replay. So we reckon this hole in the tower is a bloody bird's nest because we just got swooped by a couple of birds. Obviously that happens every episode that I come out to film, even a tower on a beach. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to read any more info about this place or other haunted locations I visited, head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm also on Patreon, guys, and I actually filmed a behind the scenes bonus exclusive video to go along with this episode. It's over on Patreon, go check that out. Until next time.